Okay, in this video, we are going to have a look at stepper motors. Now, you might have a couple of stepper motors kicking around, and you just can't connect them up to a DC power supply to make them work. You need a driver board, you need a microcontroller, and you need some code running on the microcontroller. And the two most common types of stepper motors are unipolar stepper motors and bipolar stepper motors. Now, the one on the left here, this is a unipolar stepper motor, and you can see the schematic. There's two coils inside. There's an A and B coil, and each one is center tapped. And the stepper motor on the right is a bipolar stepper motor, and it has four wires. You can see the schematic. There's an A and B coil. This one's set up for linear motion, so when the stepper motor turns, it's going to drive this uh, lead screw, and it's going to move this part here so you can hook it up to uh, any device for linear motion. So in this video, we're going to make these two stepper motors run manually. There'll be no driver board, no micro, no coding. So if you're not into coding yet, we'll make these, uh, we'll make these two stepper motors run and you'll learn a lot about stepper motors by doing it manually. Okay, the first stepper motor we're going to look at is a unipolar stepper motor, which you can see here. And you can see there's two coils. There's an A coil and there's a B coil. And each coil has three wires coming out of it. Now one of these wires is the center tap. So the center tap of the A coil and the B coil are connected together and they're fed into 12 volts. Then we'll have four wires left and that's the four phase coils. So next we're going to have a look at the schematic and see how this uh, stepper motor works and how we could trigger it manually. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the stepper motor that I'm using. Now we can see the two main coils that were stacked. That's coil A and coil B. And each coil has three wires coming out of it, three leads. So there's your one, two, three leads coming out of each coil. Now each coil has a center tap and they're joined together and fed to the 12 volt power supply. So if we ground this lead here, which is the phase one lead, we'll energize the phase one coil, which will be this coil here. And if we ground this lead, which is phase three, we'll energize this coil, which is the phase three coil. So if we ground this lead here, we'll get current from the 12 volt power supply through the center tap, through the coil, and into, into ground. So if we energize phase one, and then phase two, and then phase three and phase four, the stepper motor will turn clockwise. And if we energize phase four, then three, then two, and then one, the stepper motor will run counterclockwise. So I brought out the four phase coils of the stepper motor to my breadboard with some jumpers on my breadboard. So now I can activate each phase coil separately in sequence, as you can see here. And when I swipe from left to right, I can make my stepper motor go clockwise. And if I swipe from right to left, it'll go counterclockwise. Okay, next, we are going to have a look at the bipolar stepper motor and how we could trigger it manually. And it's set up for linear motion. So when the stepper motor turns, it's going to turn this lead screw and it's going to move this linear block back and forth. Now the A coil and B coil inside the stepper motor are connected up to my breadboard. So this is the A coil and this is the B coil. This is the reverse A coil. I have reversing wires. And this is reverse B coil. So it's acting like an H bridge. So we can apply voltage now to the A coil and B coil and reverse A coil and B coil. And I'll use that. I'll have my meter leads connected up to my power supply and I'll be, I'll be able to apply voltages to the A coil and B coil. If you look at the schematic, you can see the two coils, the A coil and the B coil, and the sequence to move the stepper motor. So we're going to apply it A coil, B coil, reverse A coil, reverse B coil, and that will move uh, this linear block to the left. Okay, I've got my meter leads connected up to my power supply with 9 volts. So when I apply it to the coil, that's one coil, and this will be the second coil, and this is reverse of the first coil, and this is reverse of the second coil. So in that sequence we can move, you have to watch it closely, I'm not as fast as a microcontroller, but you'll see this uh, linear motion block move to the left. I'll do it again. One, two, three, four, keep on going. It's going to the left on each pulse. So manually we could activate a bipolar stepper motor.
Okay, that was my little tutorial, stepper motor simplified. So now when you get a hold of a stepper motor, you could identify it as either a unipolar or bipolar. And you know how to make them run manually by bringing out the coils to a breadboard and applying voltages to the coils. So now when you do get a, a driver board and you're writing code, it will make it a lot easier to troubleshoot.